We'll be right back with you just after this. The long-awaited Hill Country series from Collins Guitars represents a new voice in their acoustic lineup. Rooted deep in the bluegrass world, these new Dreadnought NOM models feature a strong fundamental tone with a dry, warm and woody character that's sure to catch the attention of players who hold the vintage instruments of the 30s in their highest regard. Watch world-class pickers Jake Workman, Kenny Smith and Bob Minner perform with new Hill Country instruments on the Collins Guitars YouTube channel and learn more at collinsguitars.com. This episode is also brought to you by Peghead Nation, the home of Roots Music Instruction. With 65 streaming video courses for guitar, mandolin, banjo, fiddle, dobro, bass and ukulele from some of the leading names in acoustic music, Peghead Nation is something for every picker. You'll learn the tunes and techniques you need to join in at jams and play the music you love, plus advanced techniques like improvisation, theory and ear training. Your first course is just $20 per month and you can add more for $10 a month. Sign up for any course and get your first month free with the promo code JAMALONG, or one word. Join thousands of other players, including me, who are advancing on their instruments and having more fun playing the roots music they love at pegheadnation.com. Hi, this is Matt, and you're listening to Bluegrass Jam Along, the podcast for anyone and everyone who loves bluegrass. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Bluegrass Jam Along. Um, slight departure from the regular, regular schedule this week. Instead of putting out an interview, I wanted to talk to you about something that I'm working on with Brian Sutton right now. That is a fundraiser for the IBMA Trust Fund. Um, I was out in the US recently for IBMA and we narrowly missed Hurricane Helene, or should I say it narrowly missed us. Um, but it hit very hard, very hard where it hit and areas of western North Carolina and eastern Tennessee have been devastated. People's lives have been totally turned upside down. Um, People have lost homes, livelihoods, people have lost their life, there are people really struggling Uh, and the news agenda moves on and there's an election coming up and all sorts of other things are now on the front pages but there are people whose lives will take weeks, months and potentially years to rebuild and communities that really need help. Um, and and the reason that I want to do this, I've, I've felt so incredibly welcomed by the bluegrass community and being out in Raleigh the last couple of years has made me feel very connected and, you know, I feel extraordinarily lucky to be able to do what I do and to be so welcomed by the community and so many of that community have ties to the region that's been affected. Uh, friends, family there, live there themselves, it's, you know, there are venues, there are studios, there are there are so many connections to that part of the world in the bluegrass and string band community and so many people just in that region suffering. Um, and so I wanted to do something to see if I can help a little bit. And I immediately thought of Brian Sutton because he is from Asheville, which is one of the, the cities that was hit hardest by the hurricane. And I reached out and just said to him, look, I'd really like to do a fundraiser to try and get some money together to help people who are struggling. Uh, and he said yes straight away and suggested that we do something for the IBMA Trust Fund. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to have a bit of fun with it. Um, I thought what I would do is I would have an interview with Brian. But instead of me interviewing Brian, you're going to interview him. Um, so I've set up a GoFundMe page where you can donate any amount of money you want. Um, it can be a tiny amount of money, just whatever you can afford. Uh, and every donation you get to ask Brian a question. And I will pick a bunch of the questions and put them to Brian over the course of the interview. And I thought that might be fun for you to get a chance to ask essentially one of the most successful, awarded, inspiring bluegrass musicians of his generation some questions. Uh, I'm lucky I get to ask musicians questions every week, but you must have all sorts of questions and you think, well, why didn't you ask that? What about this? What about that? So this is your chance. Um, you don't have to have a question to donate. You can just donate and that would be very, very welcome. But if you do want to ask a question, this is your opportunity. Um, There's a link in the show notes to how you go about that, along with some more information about all of it. You can also, if you want to, uh, record yourself asking your question as a voice note and either send it to me through the GoFundMe page or send it to me at matt at bluegrassjamalong.com and you will actually get to ask the question yourself in the episode. And I'm going to leave this open for a week or so and I'm going to interview Brian. I think I'm going to interview Brian on the 28th of this month um, and then put the episode out a couple of days later so you've got a bit of time yet to get your questions in. Um, Everybody who donates will get a thank you 
in the in the episode itself, uh, and already had one incredibly generous donation from Patricia and David at Artist Works, who have donated fifteen hundred dollars, which has got us off to a flying start, and I am so excited about that. Um, if we don't raise another penny, I will be delighted to put that towards a good cause. But I want to raise some more pennies uh, and some more dollars. So please, if you may well have already don- donated to other fundraisers, and I totally understand that. Um, and if that's the case, if you could just help spread the word, that would be brilliant. The whole point of this is to try and do something to help and to to give a little back to a community that I feel has given me a lot. Um, so that is it. I'll put a link in the show notes to the GoFundMe Go and have a look. If you can donate anything, wonderful. Um, If you can spread the word, wonderful. There's plenty of social media posts about this. Um, So share those, whatever you can do. That would be fantastic. And really looking forward to seeing what questions come in and putting some to Brian as part of the episode. Um, It's always a joy talking to Brian. And it'd be interesting to put some different questions to him this time around. Um, Both of us are really looking forward to being able to do whatever we can to help in this scenario um that is it short and simple but i wanted to put this out and just let you know this is what's happening because this is really important to me and to brian um thank you for listening please do what you can to help i will see you next week with another regular interview as this is such a short episode i'm going to play you out with the full length version of the brian sutton theme tune for bluegrass jam along just because i really like listening to it in the meantime have a great week and happy picking Bluegrass Jamalong is proud to be sponsored by Collings Guitars and Mandolins, making some of the finest guitars and mandolins in the world since the 1970s. Visit collingsguitars.com and find out why.